my channel one more time. Nice seeing you. I am going to do a fried chicken uh, thigh today with the skin and the bone. Um, for all of you who are new to the channel, welcome. For all of you who are subscribed already, welcome back. Thank you for coming. Always happy to see you. I'm going to do a chicken today, a uh, fried chicken, because I really, really want some. And uh, to go spend $100 on a three-piece chicken combination from anywhere is just not worth it to me anymore. Um, and I'm going to, one of the recipes are mustard. I've seen a couple people use mustard on theirs, and I'm going to uh, try it and see what it's like. Uh, garlic powder. These are my choices of seasoning. Garlic powder, a little saison, however you pronounce it, a little Cajun um, Creole seasoning, black pepper, turmeric, uh, just because I like those flavor flavors and for no other reason, no other reason in particular. You can use regular salt and pepper, season how you want. If you don't want that, don't use it but this is what I'm going to use today. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by using some, um, putting some seasoning on it. I told you I like to incorporate turmeric in, you know, anything that I can get away with just because uh, I feel that it's beneficial. So I'm gonna season everything in a bowl, then I'm gonna mix it up well, and I've already seasoned some flour. I'm gonna mix that up well, and then I'm gonna get started. In the meantime, my um, cast iron is, has been on for probably 10 minutes now on a very low flame. Then I added my oil and that's on a low flame as well. So by the time I get ready, uh, finish massaging all the flour in, I'm gonna turn it up to about a, a little over medium on the high side. I'm gonna turn it up and we are gonna get started frying some chicken, y'all. Now y'all, if you look at the bowl, if you look at the chicken, Look at the pretty golden color. So maybe the mustard is for color. I'm sure it's for taste, but maybe for, maybe it may be for aesthetics, plate wise, food wise. The color <clears throat> should turn out pretty. I can tell right now. Maybe that's what the mustard's for. I'm from Southern Jersey. I don't know where everyone else is from, but I had watched a couple videos where I saw people put mustard on their chicken. It was never something that I heard of. But I'm going to try it and I'm going to let you know how it came out. But I'm still thinking about the, the fact that I went into the washroom, came out with the clothes washing and still no apron. Is that a thing when you hit your 50s or is that brain overload? Somebody let me know. Okay, while y'all wasn't looking, I decided to add some more seasoning. And this is chipotle roasted garlic seasoning that I'm adding. Just because I really love different flavors, uh, a variety of flavor. You can use a lot of different seasons, but a little bit of a lot of different seasonings. And don't forget to add your paprika, guys. Don't forget to add your paprika. It's always good for color. Cause I really don't really know what the hell a uh, paprika tastes like, but I added it in everything. I don't know if I got that. Well, I was used, I was doing that before I saw a soul food on HBO, but remember she put everything in her paprika and everything. Somebody out there, grandmama put paprika and everything like me. Okay. Again, so this is my seasoned flour and yes, I am using my hands. Um, I am not operating on anything. My hands are thoroughly clean, just like my surface, just like my chicken. I mean, it's just, doesn't it go hand in hand, keeping your hands clean and cooking? Okay, and I'm grabbing the first piece of chicken and I'm gonna dredge it through some seasoned flour. This flour is already seasoned. I'm gonna take the chicken Bathe it really nicely in the flour, even with the skin. And I'm going to make sure that this chicken is nice and crunchy. This is a treat to me because I don't like frying chicken. I don't like, maybe I'm weird. I, I, I just don't like the smell that, uh, 
you know, stays in your house for a couple days. And then it's, it's just too messy for me. I love to eat it. So if I'm at a party and I see fried chicken, that's the first thing I'm going to put on my plate. I ain't going to lie, y'all. I like fried chicken. <laughs> but I don't eat it a lot. Okay, here's another piece. We're just dredging it through the uh, seasoned flour. You just want every nook and cranny to be covered with flour. So you can get that nice crunchy texture. Mm. Well submerged in the flour. And it's going to be submerged into the hot oil pan, cast iron pan. See how I missed the part, the piece on that skin? Gotta, gotta include that. Don't not include that, baby. Don't want nobody to feel left out here. I'm so caring, that's just who I am. I don't wanna leave nobody out. Okay, so again, just make sure that your skin is covered. I'm not using an egg wash, I'm not dipping it. I'm just using straight flour, straight seasoned flour. I never was a big fan with dipping. I mean, you can soak the chicken in milk. I never was a big fan of, uh, you know, that dipping thing, dipping them eggs and dipping it back in. I wasn't a big fan of that ever. It seemed like my chicken used to always burn on the outside or get look well done on the outside and on the inside it wasn't, you know, completely done. All right, y'all, so I'm back, but I'm back this time with that question. I hope you can hear me because I did turn on my fan over, you know, my overhead fan. The chicken's looking good. It's coming along. It's looking nice and golden brown, like it's supposed to. I know what I came back for. For the corn, I'm going to do a video one day on uh, how to make corn, uh, in a different way. That's not the word I was looking for. But to corn, um, I make corn salads sometimes with broccoli and red pepper, you know, different colors and stuff like that. You can squeeze like lemon, vinaigrette, or Italian dressing on it. Uh, you blanch all your vegetables so they can have that bright, vibrant color. But um, you can also make a hot dish with corn by chopping up some broccoli really fine putting some red bell pepper in it, mm. maybe even some, um, well, definitely some onion. Red onion's always better. I use whatever onion I have on hand, even if you have shallots or, um, and uh, the green onions. Honey, you talk about a good dish and you put it in, you know, you season it with your butter and you put it in with your, you know, you only need maybe a, a little bit of salt and pepper or seasoned salt or, nature seasoning, whatever it is you use, but that's another way to spice up your corn, have it look good and taste even better. Honey, please, you talk about good eating? So look at the pretty color, y'all. I kind of probably should have just put three in, but I'm gonna chance it with the four, because you don't want to overcrowd your pan with your chicken. But um, so far it's looking really pretty and golden, like I said. I love the color. You know, we eat with our eyes anyway. So the color is, I think, very important too. When you see food and you go, ew, or you can see food and go, oh my God, mm, Lord. So yeah, right now it's, it's on that level. The oh my God, Lord level. I just put the screen over it for, um, it, help, <clears throat> it helps cut down with the, splatter everywhere but I also put a lid on it although it's still able to ventilate I put a lid on it too so that it can cook through thoroughly because these are big pieces of chicken and um, of course you always want your poultry to be done any meat I mean am I, I, I get I know I'm not the only one that feels that way but yeah I just covered it for some uh, for a little bit of a cook through uh, cook through action. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> right. I added more 
water to the corn and it smells so delicious. The corn is a treat too. The last time I had corn, I think, was on the day of the cookout, which was in July. I had to grab some of that because it was it went fast. It went pretty quickly. We got corn. I just have to heat up the rice and the chicken's done in a minute. Okay, so here's the four pieces of chicken that I cooked. I like my chicken well done. And I, the thing with this big, uh, these big sizes, you have to watch them because they will burn, but you want them to cook thoroughly at the same time. So you turn, I turned them often. Um, like I said, the grease was very hot. You cannot put it in lukewarm oil. You have to put it in hot grease, not burning, flaming hot but you have to heat up your pan first, then put your oil in a pan, put enough to cover the chicken. I didn't submerge mine like I normally would. I told you I don't like frying chicken too much, but yes, this is it. And I can't wait to dig in y'all. I'll tell you how it was. And here's the plate, my leftover rice, some organic corn, and a piece of fried chicken y'all. Of heaven. I'm assuming and I'm praying and I'm hoping. But thank you for stopping by. I'd love to see you come again. Please cook easy, simple meals with me. Until we meet again, guys, assalamu alaikum and have a great day. Bon appetit. The description, everything, all the information will be in the description below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Have a good weekend. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.